and here we are. Now looking to move over to iPhone from Android. Whether work is requiring you to make that switch or you just want to try iOS, having access to your WhatsApp data will be critical to staying in contact and never missing out. And everything we mentioned here applies to WhatsApp and WhatsApp business for that matter. In this video, we're going to talk about how to back up your WhatsApp data to prime it before the transfer and two very useful methods to transferring your WhatsApp data between Android and iPhone. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Doctor Phone channel. My name is Francisco and if you are in need to transferring your WhatsApp data, then like, comment, and subscribe because there's so much to tackle today and in the future. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Back up your WhatsApp data before the transfer. This is very important, because for the methods we will mention in this video, you need to have a backup that you can use to ensure that nothing gets lost and to transfer everything as accurately as possible. So make sure to follow these steps coming right up. On your Android device, open WhatsApp. Once open, go to the three dots at the top right corner, then select Settings. Then scroll down to select Chats. Scroll down again until you see Chat Backup, then just select it. All you have to do is press Backup Now and just wait for it to finish from there. Once you're done, it will be a lot smoother to complete the actual transfer, coming up right now. Part two, transfer your WhatsApp directly. This is when we begin the actual transfer process, which is pretty seamless. All you have to do is just take a look at the steps coming up right now. On your Android device, go to the Play Store and download the Doctor Phone app. Once downloaded, just open the app. From this interface, select WhatsApp from the bottom of the screen. In this screen, you have to select WhatsApp Business from this dropdown if you're using WhatsApp Business specifically. But if you're using just regular WhatsApp, then leave it the way that it already is. Tap Android to iPhone from here. Then you will have to give Dr. Phone permission to access your files in order to transfer them. On your Android device, just tap Authorize. And if anything else follows up afterwards for you, just follow the steps that will be shown on screen for you to give Dr. Phone the proper permissions. Afterwards, just return to the app if it takes you out. If not, continue to the screen right here. From here, enter the phone number linked to your WhatsApp account, and then hit Next. Then press OK. From here, you will receive a confirmation code, which you need to enter into this field. When you finish, it should proceed on its own. In the next window, it will parse your WhatsApp backup, which can take some time depending on how much it needs to parse. Once done, you will be able to select all of the kinds of data that you would like to transfer over. Select these individually or just pick them all, then press next. On this window, you will want to choose a wired USB connection. Then use one cable to plug both your Android device and your iPhone. To find out how to do this wirelessly, just stick around to the next part of this video. Once both phones detect each other, you will have to press OK on Android to create a connection. On your iPhone, press Trust, then enter your PIN to continue. The Dr. Phone will finally be ready to begin the transfer, so just press Start Transfer to begin and simply wait for it to finish. Once it's all done, you will be able to open WhatsApp on your iPhone and get through the setup to see all of your data on your new iPhone. Part 3. Use WhatsApper to easily transfer your WhatsApp data. This is when we will address the wireless transfer process because it is a different procedure than just doing a direct transfer. To find out how to go through the wireless transfer instead right now. So now that we're back at the same page as before where we verified our WhatsApp number and backup, we will be right back on this menu. From here, select the wireless connection instead of the wired one. Now you have to connect both devices to each other wirelessly. But before you can actually do that, you have to press start to convert the backup and be able to make the transfer on your desktop with a designated app. So essentially what this means is that while it is wireless between both iPhone and Android, you still have to connect them both wired to your computer in order to make that transfer. And I will show you how to do that. So this will immediately prompt you to download the desktop app WhatsApper. Now let's move on to our computer. On your computer, you have to type in the link that it gives you on your phone. Type in whatsapper.vip, which will take you straight to the download page. Just download and set it up as you would any software. Once you're done setting up WhatsApper, you will be greeted by a very simple interface. You can choose WhatsApp 
or WhatsApp for business, depending on which data you need to transfer, just like before. In my case, it's just WhatsApp. Then select Transfer Android to iPhone. From here, you have to plug in both your Android and iPhone to your computer. They will be detected shortly after. And from here, all you have to do is just press transfer, which is just a one-click solution at the end of the day. So just wait for it to finish. When everything is done, you should be able to open WhatsApp and go through the setup to find all the transfer data right here. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. If you liked this video, then please make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions and thoughts down in the comments section. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this and hit the notification bell to stay updated every time a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.